People often tell me that they appreciate the time of Lent as a time of, of special prayer and spiritual practice. Lent is a 40-day period, a season, if you will, uh, in preparation for Easter. It's a time when the followers of Jesus prepare themselves to celebrate Easter. It begins on Ash Wednesday and continues over about a six-week time. And, you know, Lent, while I appreciate that people uh, find value, I am a little uncomfortable with the traditions of Lent. I, I can't find a place for myself in them. The two major themes uh, observed in Lent are, are first a, a reflection on the, the suffering and agony of Jesus. And, and indeed, Jesus suffered a great deal. Uh, you know, he was betrayed by a follower, his, his close companions, you know, they left him. And they left him to be executed publicly, capital punishment, in a very humiliating and painful way. And yeah, this is tragic and horrible. And we observe each detail of that process during Holy Week. And when I think about observing that for 40 days, I think, wait a second, are, are we focused too narrowly? I mean, there are people who are suffering all around us. They're, they're, the world is in such agony because of war and violence and so many other things. And perhaps we should be thinking more about the suffering that people are going through here and now. In a similar way, a second theme of Lent is you know, focusing on our own sinfulness, our failings, our, our, our failures. And I think, you know, especially as a psychologist, that when we start focusing so much on the things that we do wrong, we really become self-preoccupied with what's wrong with us. It's almost a little bit neurotic. And when we do that, we start making ourselves much more important and the things that we do wrong is much more important and taken out of perspective. I think for me, Lent makes a lot more sense to think about it in terms of that vision of Easter, that what we're aiming for is a new way of life, a new way of living, experiencing life fully. And maybe a better way to prepare for that is to consider how it is that we can become better people by caring for others who are in pain. You know, most people are in pain and, and we can't see it. We don't recognize it. We don't know what that pain is. But we help alleviate that pain by being more compassionate, more caring, by reaching out to others. And, and doing that in our immediate area as well as reaching beyond ourselves and compassion to people who are refugees, who are experiencing violence around the world, and, and who are troubled in so many different ways. Perhaps this Lent can become more valuable by focusing more on how we become good people, how we can become followers of Jesus in a truer sense, by reaching out, caring with compassion, and being sources of healing in the world. I don't know, that's just what I think. But let me know what you think. I appreciate your feedback too. Thanks for your time. This is Lou Kavar.